What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and to another useful video tutorial. First of all, I just want to thank all of you for the 2000 subs. May your life be full of joy and fulfillment. And back to the video, as you can see in the thumbnail, this tutorial is about automatic generated ID cards creation. No need to type one by one. Wow! Pero bago natin ituloy yan, pakipindot naman ang subscribe button and the bell button for more updates. So wala nang paligoy-ligoy pa, simulan na natin ang tutorial na ito. Una sa lahat, of course, kailangan meron kayong blank ID template sa Microsoft Word. Kagaya ng pinapakita ko ngayon sa screen. As you can see, merong mga text box para sa kailangang informasyon. Katulad ng name, student number, at sa likuran ng ID ay nandun naman makikita ang text box para sa contact number. So, i-minimize muna natin ito saglit. The next thing na kailangan meron kayo is, of course, ang listahan ng information na nakatype sa Microsoft Excel. Dito, makikita ninyo mga infos na kailangan sa ID template. Yung name ulit student number and the contact number. Dito sa sample natin ay kailangan kong makagawa ng 20 IDs para sa 20 katao. Pero ayokong i-type ito isa-isa kasi masyadong matagal. So if you have the information in an Excel spreadsheet, kailangan syempre nakasave ito sa yung computer. For example, sa case ko, I'll store it as G10 Einstein in my documents folder. Kung natapos mo na yun, bumalik na tayo sa ID template sa Microsoft Word. On the upper section, click the Mailings tab. And then pick Select Recipients. Tapos, use an existing list galing dun sa mga drop-down menu. Pagkatapos mong pindutin yung tatlong yun, a new window will pop up. And there you have to find the Excel file that contains all your information. Sa case ko, sinave ko to kanina sa documents with the file name G10 Einstein. Once na nalocate mo na yun, simply click it and then choose the open option. So, may magpa-pop up na naman another small window. And there, kailangan nating i-select kung aling sheet yung gusto nating gamitin. Kung marami kang sheets dun sa Excel file mo, pipiliin mo kung alin yung gusto mong gamitin. Pero sa case ko, meron lang isang sheet. So, pipiliin ko yun, click ko lang yun, and then click OK. As a result, Microsoft Word was able to access the data in your spreadsheet file or Excel file. So, the next step naman is to click the Insert Merge field to enter all of those details sa appropriate text box. Pero bago pala yun is, we need to select everything na nasa loob ng first text box. Kung may laman yung text box nyo, tsaka natin i-click yung Insert Merge Field. Pagka-click natin yun, a drop-down menu will be shown. And there, we have to select the name. Kasi yun yung gusto natin mag-appear dun sa first text box. Next, click the second text box. Select everything in it. Then select insert merge field once again and then select student number and finally repeat the procedure by clicking the third text box select insert merge field again and choose the contact so kung okay na lahat ng information sa ID nyo at gusto nyo makita yung itsura ng merge file yung may pangalan na may contact and may student number. Ang gagawin nyo lang is punta ulit kayo sa mailing tab and click the preview results button. And the information will show on the template in the same order as it was indicated sa inyong Excel file. Jaran, Okay na. Nandyan na yung first name, student number, and yung contact number. O as you can see, sa una sa listahan natin sa Excel file is siya rin, si Maxine Brandage. <laughs> Kung gusto nyo pa makita yung mga sumunod na pangalan, click nyo lang yung next button sa tabi ng number. 
So, makikita nyo na dyan, isa-isa. Next, next lang yan. So, makikita nyo, nagbabago-bago yung pangalan student number and the contact number. So, kung nagmamadali na kayo, tapusin na natin yung tutorial na ito. Click Finish and Merge. Then, edit individual document para ma-double check natin kung lahat ba ay okay na at sakto na. May magpapapap ulit na new window na nagsasabing merge in new document. So, i-fill in lang natin yung all button and click OK. So, hintayin lang natin siya ng konti hanggang matapos mag-loading. So, ito na guys. Natapos na natin. We now have all the infos merged in our template automatically. Ngayon, pwede na natin i-edit ito isa-isa kung merong mga lumampas na text or maliit na or malaki or kung may hindi tama. Kung okay naman na lahat at maayos na, huwag kalimutan na i-save ito as a new document. Sa case ko, I will save it as final ID sa aking desktop. So yeah, that's everything for this tutorial. I hope you can put this to good use in your life. And I also want to share that you can make automated certificates too gamit ang merge method na ito. So goodbye guys. Pero bago pala akong magbabay, please do hit the subscribe button and the bell button. And see you on my next video. Bye!